I've made over $7,000 in the last 18 months, passively mining with this antenna I've got mounted on my roof. With the use of this splitter, I'm now tripling down and mining three different crypto tokens with this antenna. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what I'm mining, share my setup, my earnings, and my costs, so you'll have all the info you'll need to start mining some space weather too. For those of you maybe new here, welcome. My name is Jason, and this is Swan Castle Crypto, where I review the latest DPIN and IoT crypto mining projects. I've been covering these satellite miners on this channel for over two years now. Congrats to those of you who've been following along and mining with me. Like I say, it pays to get in early. Now, if you missed out, don't be discouraged. I have several reasons where I believe we still may be very early in this space, but more on that in a bit. But first, let me give you a broad overview of what is space weather mining with these satellite miners. There's a large network of global navigation satellites positioned throughout our atmosphere, used for everything that requires GPS. Now, unfortunately, the sun creates these solar winds, which are essentially magnetic storms, which limit GPS's accuracy and reliability for these satellites, causing a GPS's reading to sometimes be off by several meters, which obviously could be a big problem in certain instances. All right, Maybe it's turn. a shortcut, Dwight. It said go to the right. It can't mean that. There's what, a lake right there. I think it knows where it is going. This is the, the lake. machine knows. This is the lake. Stop yelling at me. No, it's that's where these satellite miners come in. They're leveraging crypto to build a decentralized blockchain network of miners capable of accounting for these variations in space weather, bringing centimeter level accuracy to this GPS data. The first project we're mining is called GeoNet via the Hyfix Space Weather Station. It currently earns a maximum of 48 geo tokens per day. I'm personally seeing uh, slightly less at about 47 geo tokens per day, and that's due to some trees around my house that are partially limiting the satellite's view of uh, the skyline. GeoNet does have an annual halving event, which is scheduled for June 30th. So after that halving here in a couple of months, daily rewards will be at a maximum of 24 geo tokens per day. The GEO token has been on quite the tear since late 2023, doing about a 10x from 2 cents up to about 21 cents as of the filming of this video on May 23rd. But the good thing is, it is still a very tiny project with only a $19 million market cap, so huge potential for growth, especially if they can start bringing in some real revenue to this project. And fortunately, that's exactly what they're starting to do. Here's a chart from VanEck showing the growth in annual reoccurring revenue for GeoNet, which is corresponding with the growth in the number of nodes on the network. And GeoNet currently has a burn mechanism where they utilize 80% of the revenues to buy GEO tokens on the open market and then burns those tokens, which could be very bullish for the GEO token long term. If you look at the Explorer for GeoNet, there are still only 6,282 miners active globally, and they have a goal of getting to 100,000 miners. So we are still very much early into this project. Now, based on my current earnings of about 47 GEO tokens per day, I'm earning about $10 a day with my high fixed space weather station. If we go back to the all-time highs of 36 cents we saw in March, we're looking at about $17 a day. But I'm personally waiting for much, much higher prices, which is why I haven't sold a single GEO token since their token went live back in September of 2022. It's one of the few projects I haven't sold or taken any profits on. To date, I've earned just over 33,000 tokens, which at today's prices is worth over $7,000. Not too bad, right? To get started with Geode, you'll need to pick up a Hyfix Space Weather Station. They are currently priced at $695, but you can use my discount code SWAN to get 10% off your order. As always, I appreciate it if you use my code because it helps to financially support this channel. So thanks in advance if you choose to buy one. Now, unfortunately, they do have a little bit of a lead time currently at six to eight weeks from order date, but that's to be expected given how profitable these things are right now. Now, based on current profitability, you're looking at about a two month break even time, but with the halving approaching, it may be closer to about four to five months, but not bad either way. Now, the second project I'm mining is called Onacoy. It's very similar to GeoNet in terms of project goals, but this one still is on testnet and is much smaller with currently about 3000 stations online around the globe. So very early, which could also mean a good opportunity for us. I'm averaging about 4.56 of their Bono tokens each day, but obviously since it's still on testnet, we don't yet have a value for these tokens, but when they do go live, all our Bono tokens will be converted onto their Ono token. Now this project is built on Solana, which I like to see because I think Solana and Solana based projects are going to be the black hole of this bull market and will outperform a lot of the other projects built on other L1s. But that's just my opinion and not financial advice, but that's what I am betting heavily on. Now I've been mining with this one since about early January of this year. And so far I've accumulated a total of 624 of their testnet tokens. 
Now, although we don't have a current price for their token and can't estimate the current earnings, I did find a nice nugget in their white paper, which stated that they're targeting earnings of about $1,000 per year for each station. So based on that, you're looking at a break even of about a little over five months. Unfortunately, you can't repurpose your high fixed receiver to mine both GeoNet and Onacoy. So to mine Onacoy, I purchased this receiver from GNS Electronics uh, during their Black Friday sale last year. I then purchased this GNSS antenna splitter. It's a two to one splitter, so I can utilize my high fixed stations antenna for this project as well. It saved me about a hundred bucks and it meant not having to climb up on my roof again and install another antenna, which my wife obviously appreciated. She always gets really nervous when I have to get up on the roof. In order to mine our third token today, we're gonna to need to upgrade our splitter to a three to one splitter so we can utilize our antenna to mine all three tokens, which leads us to our third token on mining, which is the Fry token from the Fry Foundation. The Fry Foundation has a variety of different miners, which I've reviewed for you previously on this channel. I like that they're low cost miners, they're easy to set up, and I've been able to use them to mine other projects such as my ETCMC nodes, and a new one, which is a free app called the Grass App. Currently, I'm earning just under 162 Fry tokens per day, but they have been instituting a lot of changes lately in terms of their token rewards, so it may be different when you're watching this video. They also have been rolling out a verification system, which is expected to go live in the coming months, which will potentially triple your token rewards if you choose to verify your location. The Fry token has really performed poorly the past month or so after seeing a huge spike in March. I have no idea where it's going to go from here, but at today's token price of 0 0.0016 cents per token, we're looking at earnings of just 26 cents per day. Not great. Now, if we take that price from March 3rd of almost two cents, we're looking at earnings about $3 per day. Now, like I said, I don't know if we're ever gonna go back to that price, but it's just something to keep in mind. We were just at much, much higher prices uh, very recently, but obviously quite the drastic change in just a few months. Here's a list of the current items you'll need from the Fry Foundation website, much lower cost than the other two projects, but much lower earnings as well, with the current break even of just over two years at this point. I put this summary here together to summarize the different purchase options below in case you're interested in picking anything up. The first one is just a purchase of the Hifix uh, weather station antenna. The second one, if you just want to do Onacoy. The third option is if you want to do Onacoy and Hifix with a two to one splitter. And the final option here is uh, the, all three with a three to one splitter. Obviously, the final option is quite pricey, so you need to do what's best for you and uh, don't obviously overextend yourself. Okay, next, let's talk about my setup real quick. Now, I'm not going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial here because everyone's setup process is going to be slightly different, but each project has some great tutorials that you can follow on their website. Uh, if I can do it, you obviously can too. I believe in you. So here we have my current setup. Uh, first, we have the Fry Outdoor Satellite Receiver, and connected to the back of that is the breakout board, which is connected via SMA cable into the 3 to 1 power splitter. Next, we have the Hifix Space Weather Station, which is also connected into the power splitter. And then we have the Entrip X Base Station for Onacoy, which is connected to that final third port of the 3 to 1 power splitter. Then on the other side of the power splitter is the cord that goes under the window and through the screen and out onto my roof. I also have this little uh, box that I got off Amazon. It's to contain all my different devices because I had issues with my kids going into this room and liking to pull apart these uh, devices because they had blinking lights. Something the GeoNet team mentioned when I made my video a few months ago about dual mining GeoNet and Onacoy with one Hifix antenna is doing so will avoid your Hifix warranty. I personally haven't had any issues yet and haven't seen any decrease in rewards because of this, but just proceed at uh, your own risk. I've had a few questions from some of you about my mount setup, and all my setup is is a piece of plywood that I painted black, and then I drilled it into my roof. I then put some sealant on those holes to prevent any water damage. It's been up there for a little over two years now, and I haven't had any leaks yet, so I think we're in the clear. Now, then I bought a cheap mounting bracket from Amazon. As you can see here, I have two weather stations mounted on top of two other antennas here as well. And it's been a pretty reliable setup for me so far. Now, if DIY antenna mount setups aren't your thing, you're looking for something a little more professional looking, uh, Suburban Crypto over on X is selling mounts for $20 a piece uh, plus shipping. I have to admit, they do look really nice. Uh, just shoot them a DM on there if you're interested in picking one up and let them know Swan Castle Crypto sent you. And 